Military officials in Kiev say they have detained a dozen Russian soldiers who crossed into Ukraine at night. A source in Russia's defense ministry has reportedly confirmed they went over the border by mistake during a routine patrol. Paula Slea is in the region and joins us live now. Paula, tell us what exactly happened. Well, Kiev was the first to announce that it had detained Russian soldiers. There is a video that has now been posted to Facebook that purportedly shows the soldiers being questioned. You can see them reading what seems to be a statement of a piece of paper, and you can hear someone in the background presumably giving them instructions of what to say. An unnamed source in the Russian Defense Ministry says the soldiers were patrolling the Russian-Ukrainian border at night when they unintentionally crossed over into Ukrainian territory. What we're also hearing from the source is that the soldiers were detained without giving any kind of resistance. It's important to make the point that this happened at night where it's very difficult, if not impossible, at some points to tell where exactly is the border line. We're talking here about a border that often goes through a field, a forest or even a village. I've crossed this border on several occasions during the day, so you can imagine how much easier it is during the day. And I can tell you from personal experience that there are many, many parts where there's simply no markings to say that now you're in the Russian territory, now you're in Ukrainian territory. So how much more difficult it is at night. There have been several occasions in the past where Ukrainian soldiers themselves have crossed over into Russian territory. There was one instance where two armored vehicles crossed over and the crew tried to escape. At the beginning of August, there was just over 400 Ukrainian troops who crossed over into Russia, reportedly seeking sanctuary. Now, Paula, it all happened in the war zone where Kiev uh, fighting anti-government forces. Is, is that correct? Certainly, this happened in an area in eastern Ukraine which has seen the fiercest fighting between the anti-government fighters and the Ukrainian military. There is here constant shelling and there's also a humanitarian crisis that is unfolding. We travelled with a group of anti-government fighters to one of the worst hit cities where essentially people are under siege and these fighters risked their lives to bring much needed supplies to the residents of the town.